Okay, hi. Um, so this is just a small update as to what happened in part four. I know I, I know I explained it in text, but a lot of people aren't going to watch it because it's three hours long. So, um, what what happened was completely my own fault. Um, I didn't. Um, so what happens what with my recordings is, and, I, and I've changed it since. Um, but my old setup for recordings was it would go into the default video folder, which you can't change. Um, so you can't change where the default video folder goes into. So what I've had to do is, um, my mistake was that instead of having it in C drive, instead of having it in D drive, I have my folders in C drive. So I've got two hard drives. But um, what I failed to take into consideration was that Elgato does a flashback function, which takes up, uh, depending on your um, thing, it takes up like 20 gigabytes of extra data <laughs> until you close it which isn't ideal. Um, so what I've ended up doing is I've disabled that and I'm, and I'm moving my new, that, so that doesn't happen anymore. And I'm moving my new recordings to D drive under captures, which will be very helpful. Um, so, cause I know you're not, you're, you guys are not going to stick through three hours of footage just to find out what the hell happened. So I'm doing this little video here. Um, so what ended up happening was I thought I had 30, 35 gigs worth of recording um, window. Um, I didn't because I still had part three of um, Tears of the Kingdom in that folder. So that was taking up 10 gigs. And then um, I recorded for two hours, three hours, and Elgato decided, oh, um, you want that footage. Mm, well, no, because that didn't work. Um, and I didn't realize until after I started a new recording session is that Streamlabs came up with an error, I thought that was all well and good. But no, that error was actually me losing all of my footage. It didn't save at all. So I ended up with um, no footage. So no footage. I ended up with no footage, no backup footage, because that didn't save either. So thanks, Elgato. And um, the only footage I had left of that particular session was the first 20 minutes of part four, or the first 20, 30 minutes of part four um, that I did end up salvaging. So, yeah, that's, that's what happened. So, yeah, that's uh, I've mitigated that since. So what I've done is I, I might as well showcase this. I might as well um, show you what what um, what exactly I did. So um, so let's say yeah, let's go here. So let's say um, So how this works is I've got this folder where the recordings were going and it would go here. And then I've got this folder where I've got all my um, Star Force, Sonic X, um, Beyblade, Bakugan, stuff like that, Super Sentai. And um, now I'm going to put it in here 
and then this will be the new recording um, thing. But um, the problem I have, the problem I had when recording part four was I rely on C drive, which is a mistake, <laughs> clearly. But it's worked for me so far. But the reason I didn't think, oh, uh, maybe this, uh, maybe this is a bad idea, is because I usually, I'm usually good at maintaining the amount of space that I need. Why did that just go? Why is that fluctuating? See, this, this is what I mean. It's like, it, uh, it's Streamlabs. It's Streamlabs doing stupid things. But anyway, um, but yeah, that's, that, that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm now doing it in captures and you can't see my mouse. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that'll be it for this video. Um, Today's video will be Mega Man um, Battle Network Part 7 because I haven't done that in three days. So, yep, yeah, that'll be... See you then. See, see you in that video.